So good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. I'm just going to first address the first issue that everyone who's in person um, notices. It is tropical hot in here. Uh, we Engineering is working on it. Um, and so we're hopeful that that gets rectified quickly. But I did want to just acknowledge it. It's not just you and the result of whatever activities happened last night. It is actually warm. It is actually warm in this room. Um, so hi, my name is Kathleen O'Sullivan Fortin. And I want to welcome everyone to this year's Patient Learning Academy. Um, if, you, if we haven't met, um, I'm an ALD patient. I'm an ALD mom. And I'm a proud member of the Board of Directors for ALD Connect. Uh, we're so grateful for everyone who could be here in person. We're so grateful for everyone who's willing to endure another long Zoom meeting from wherever they are. Um, you are part of our community and we're so grateful um, that we can be together however and wherever across space that we can be. I wanna thank the board for their leadership and for being here. I wanna thank all of our scientific presenters, the patient panel, the industry panel, where people got on the hot seat and let us ask questions. That's a gift and shows really um, how integrated our community is. Um, so thank you so much. I would also just like to start, uh, this weekend, this meeting, this coming together would not be possible without all of our generous sponsors including Bluebird, Swan, Minarex, Vigil Neuro, and many other individual sponsors who make all this happen. So briefly, what I'm going to talk about is just a little housekeeping, both for in-person and virtual. We just have some announcements and really to set the tone. I'm going to give you a brief, well, not a brief, you wish. Um, a bigger overview of ALD Connect programming. I know um, Dr. Eichler alluded to it yesterday, but really just to explain uh, for people who are new to our community, what do we have to offer? For people who are not new to our community, maybe you've missed some developments along the way or you're ready to participate in a different way and then how you can get involved. So today's focus, what, why a patient learning academy? For us, it's really an opportunity to answer the direct questions and concerns of patients, just to shift the focus a little bit. Um, and this year, really, to answer the question, how can we live our best lives with ALD? Um, why did we choose this? We know we had a successful year with FDA meeting and sharing stories. And we realized that that was really a challenge, not only for the patients who shared and the patients who and their families who watched, but also for all, all the rest of the stakeholders to really kind of soak in the challenges and hardships that, that we can go through. And so we wanted to end the year on a positive note and, and really just acknowledge that we struggle and also to celebrate the joys that, that are still interwoven in our days. Um, and so today we'll have speakers, we'll have breakout sessions, both virtually and in person. Um, we'll have expert panels, uh, we'll have research updates, and we're really just, again, going to focus on how can we find those silver linings um, within our days. Also, just um, an opportunity to remind everyone of, in this room of the Wi-Fi password at home. You already know the Wi-Fi password or you would not be watching. Um, so, and also there's a clinical panel. So if you had any questions from yesterday, if you have any questions that you've been carrying with you, patients, families, caregivers, from far and near, please put them in the chat, save them. During that um, clinical panel, we'll have members of the board, scientific members of the board, and also, uh, surprise, any other pre presenter and or a scientific member from yesterday who can answer a question, we would ask you uh, to chime in um, and help us get really get people's questions answered. And with, and with respect to the breakouts, there will be two sessions for everyone. And so the timing is the same. The first session, the morning session, is 11.15 to noon. That dovetails right into lunch. And the second session is 3.55 to 4.30. Um, they seem like random times, but as we tried to micromanage the time of this meeting, uh, we hope it gives us enough time to get where we're going, settled, um, et cetera. In person, 
for one, for session one, you can choose from symptomatic women, symptomatic men, monitoring and newborn screening phase, and caregivers and cerebral um, as a joint hybrid. Uh, there will be, we'll be directing people where to go. There will be two groups in this in-person space, kind of on different sides, and then we have two additional rooms um, for virtual, the same breakouts. There will be a virtual breakout room for, for symptomatic women, symptomatic men, monitoring a newborn screening phase, and caregivers. And then in the second, uh, we're going to bring symptomatic adults together. And so I know we, we like to keep uh, boys on one side, girls on the other, but we're going to see that there's so many similarities for adult patients struggling with AMN and symptomatic women with ALD that um, as a community, it would be a wonderful opportunity to come together and really support each other, share our struggles and triumphs, and to see if, you know, maybe one, one group is talking about a solution that the other group hasn't figured out yet. Um, and then there's still the monitoring newborn screening phase and the caregivers, um, or cerebral ALD. So, um, you know, I also want to point out that normally when we have these support calls monthly, we have multiples, I'll talk about them in more detail, um, they're really usually uh, restricted to patients and caregivers. And today I want to make sure that everyone who's watching, no matter what stakeholder group you come from, you are most welcome. And this is an opportunity to, maybe you're coming in and you want to learn more about the struggles of a certain group, or you have some information or some light to shed on something, or you could be a beacon of hope who can answer a question in those groups. I just want to invite everyone. And as always, it should go without saying, you don't have to. So you can share as much as you want, you can participate as much as you want, and the same goes for the virtual participants. You can turn your camera on, you can leave your camera off, you can share, but there's no obligation to share. It's really just coming together, connecting, meeting up with people. Maybe the call, the regular call times don't work for you virtually, and so you have an opportunity to meet people on a Saturday. But just bringing us all together. And as a reminder, be kind to yourself. Uh, anyone who watched all day yesterday knows it's a lot of information. It's a lot to take in. Um, whether you're a first-time attendee, whether you're a nine-year veteran of the ALD Connect meetings. And I just want to remind everyone in every stakeholder group, be kind to yourself. If you need to step out, if you need to go to the restroom, symptomatic women and men, um, if you need to take a break, have a coffee, make a call, check in on family, anything, just be kind to yourself. There is no obligation to be here. We support you coming and going as you please. And obviously, know your limits and treat others with compassion as well. Our current programs are a multitude. I won't read everything on the slide, I'll get to them, but we really have, over the years, developed um, patient education and support guidelines, just trying to see what's needed. If you don't see something on this that, that you need, please tell me. If you're interested in running something, please do and tell me. Um, we welcome it. Uh, just we have a webinar series, they're just one-offs, questions we didn't have time to fit into the schedule at the annual meeting or questions that come up. I know we're working on assembling for next year um, a webinar that I would like to call ALD Below the Belt, where we talk about um, symptomatic management for adults with bowel bladder and sexual dysfunction, etc. So keep your eyes peeled for that. That'll be an evening webinar. Um, keeping that going, but again, questions that people have. Um, and, you know, if you ever have an idea for a webinar or you saw an interesting speaker in a different format, let us know and we would love to put it together. Also, it's important to note they are, in, they are available. We've been adding translation services. And this meeting today is using a technology called Wordly, Wordly that um, is live streaming this meeting in 35 languages and we're, we're recording it and so our hope is that with time and um, some extra work and management we'll be able to roll out some of these sessions as in 35 languages. We're talking French, German, Spanish, Hindi, uh, Turkish, hello Turkey, ALD Turkey, um, and a multitude of other languages but really just knowing that that we're not just here speaking in English and our ALD community is wide 
and we want to make sure that we can reach and share information with everyone. So then the next question is, how can we help with community support? We have community calls, we have directory, we have peer mentor program. Community calls. I will not read all of this, but just to let you know, this happens every month. And the way they're scheduled is intentional so that there's regularity to the meeting time so that you can say, it's the fourth Tuesday of the month. I'm getting on that AMN call. Doesn't change. If you can't make it, we're, we're sorry. We don't record these because we want to make sure, and we don't record any of the breakout sessions today because we want to make sure that people feel free to share what they want to share and don't have to worry that your question about something will come back to haunt you on, on the internet. Um, we have a, a vibrant group of symptomatic men. The symptomatic women's call is a community and a love and a devotion all of its own. I'm proud to be a member of that and so grateful for it. Um, we have a monitoring newborn screening phase. I see many of the call leaders here in person, so it's such a joy to see people getting to meet outside of their Zoom box. Uh, we have a cerebral call that's led by Jesse Torrey. It's pre, post, no transplant. And how can we support the special needs of that community um, with compassion? We have a young adults with ALD. It's not a support call because they're too cool and they know, and I'm too old to explain it, but it's on Slack. It's on Discord. It's on Discord. And see, I thought it was Slack, so I wrote, cut them some Slack. That's my mom joke for the day. And I have failed. So... Talk to Taylor. She knows all about it. Um, there's also a Spanish call, which I, I won't offend anyone by trying to say it, but there is a Spanish call. Uh, that is not on a regular basis. Consult the a newsletter for when, that is, when that, that's available. We have a caregiver call that's new um, this year that started last January or last February, and it has been a godsend. I see Jillian Smith here, one of our leaders, and it was her idea with Katie Mullen, and they put it out great, and it's just filled a hole that was needed. Caregivers. It is parents of cerebral and monitoring kids. It is par uh, parents of adult children with AMN or a symptomatic ALD. It is spouses of symptomatic adults. It is anyone who finds themselves in a caregiver role. Uh, there's a place, and there's a place to vent, share, support, and, um, you know, anyone, any caregiver. And then finally, there are new calls anytime. So tell us. If you have another idea, let us know. We will run it. I will boss someone into hosting it, and it'll happen. Uh, just briefly, we have a community directory. Um, it's on our website. It's a password-protected kind of safe address, shared address book. Um, you know, the more, it, the, the more people who join, the more useful it becomes. So some people share their email. That's, a, that's the minimum. Some people share family pictures and their snail mail address. And, you know, are, if, so that you're interested. Because sometimes you're on a community call and you get started in a discussion and you've been chatting someone and then the chat dies because the because the Zoom call is over, and you still want to continue that discussion. Sometimes they're in the community directory, and you can find them. You don't have to resort to social media to try to have those discussions. And sometimes you're in a community call, and you realize once a month is not enough. And so we created the Peer Mentor Program, launched in 2020, um, basically taking patients and caregivers who have walked a certain journey and who have as who are in a good solid place themselves and matching them with people who might be struggling and it doesn't mean that it it's only for people who are new to the community you could be totally settled in your monitoring phase and totally unsettled in your in the symptoms your personal symptoms that are arising or vice versa or any maybe just you know, you go from the monitoring phase to cerebral and you need someone to kind of advise you, how, how did you get through this most challenging time? So we just want people to know it's there. We're also happy to partner with Remember the Girls and the ALD Alliance. Um, you know, a goal someday would be to have a newborn screening or someone in every state so that as people get onboarded, onboarded to our patient community, hooray, through newborn screening, that they would be able to immediately find support. So if you're interested in joining, always reach out. If you're interested in finding a mentor, um, 
I know it's been mentioned during the patient panel that, that some people like it. And, um, you know, the application's right there. We'll get back to you as quickly as we can. Uh, financial support is another way that we can try to help. And those are mainly through the generosity of amazing donors, especially for the Michael Benton Travel Scholarships. They are so supportive and they keep it coming. Um, we have two flavors. Um, one we call the Milan Project Patient and Family Support Program. That's because when we were lucky enough to, to meld together with the Milan Project in 2019, as Patty alluded to yesterday, um, they were always a, a staunch supporter and their donors supported patients. And so we wanted to make sure that when they came to ALD Connect that we saved those programs because we didn't want there to be, <laughs> we didn't want our merging to create a new problem. And so we have given out, this year we've given out, I would say a dozen or so patient family and Michael Benton scholarships. The patient and family support program, if you need an adaptive, if you need adaptive equipment, if you need us to help you pay a bill or pay for groceries during COVID, we were sending grocery cards to folks that couldn't work as much because they were, they were of their symptoms and they were concerned about um, being immunocompromised. And so we can help. Um, unfortunately, we cannot pay for co-pays or for medical treatment, um, but we can, we can make something else move so that you can um, accomplish those goals. We also have the Michael Benton Travel Scholarship Program that was set up in honor of Michael when he passed because he loved to travel. And it's such a beautiful thing. It is our most popular support program. P some people here today are here because they're on a Michael Benton Travel Scholarship. People who have got, had an opportunity to see some of our fabulous key opinion leaders, world famous doctors that share their their expertise at our meeting, we can send you there. We have we helped someone get to um, pay for them to get to an IVF consult consultation because they didn't feel like near near them was someone who had the right um, skill set. And so, just keeping that in mind, if you want to go to another conference, if you want to go to somebody else's conference, um, let us know, and we'll help you get there. And also, that is not just for residents of, of the United States. We have given out. Um, we have paid for people from Mexico and um, lot, England and other places that wanted to come and, and meet some of our experts that happen to be here. So thank you so much to the sponsors of the Michael Benton um, Travel Scholarship Program. And just to know what's there, all available, easy online applications. We have ALD Connect merchandise. This is a shot of all of our previous on the Bonfire account. Um, you can check that out. I'm partial to the yellow shirt because my my cartoon person is there along with, with Florian and Troy. Um, how can you get involved? You can join or connect through any of these ways. Uh, join the directory. Try out being on a call as if you're a patient or caregiver. You don't have to turn on your camera. You, you don't have to grandstand and make a speech. But if you do, it means I will be quiet. So um, if that's an interest, Get on that. You can engage, register for a webinar, tell us what webinar or question you'd like, and we'll hunt it down and get it done. You can participate in the landscape project, which is a series of surveys where we're trying to really figure out where are the patients, by whom are they being seen and treated, and you know, where are we? What, what are our stories? And then always you can give your time, talent, or treasure. Um, Joan Chase reminded me yesterday that, you know, smile, everyone, everyone's life comes through a bunch of boxes with the smile on it. You may as well sign up to direct your, all your, a small percentage of all your Amazon purchases to ALD Connect. Those checks add up and they just keep coming. So um, that's an easy way to get involved and support all of our efforts. And also, there's still time to get in on um, the Angel Donor Challenge. Another way you can get involved is through Work Group 4. Work Group 4 meets the third Wednesday of the month from 7 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We know the times don't work everywhere internationally, but we're tr it's e we hope that it's equally um, inconvenient for all. So just a little inconvenient for everybody. Um, it's where we get an opportunity, and these are just some of the organizations that send people and with whom we work, but really to work on community-wide agendas, projects, 
um, awareness building, et cetera. This past year, we had a successful um, externally led patient-focused drug development meeting with the FDA. Uh, it's recorded. Watch it if you haven't. Share it with your colleagues if they haven't seen it. It's a pretty much a, a live primer in, um, in adult manifestations. So men with AMN, women with, with ALD, and individuals, men with cerebral ALD. Um, we're, I, I just, again, cannot say how grateful I am, not only to the sponsors of that event, but to all the patients who gave, who wrote in comments, who called in, who sat on hold trying to get in to call, people who worked with us for months to be ready to give live testimony, people who recorded and worked those stories so that we could share their recorded stories. It was just amazing. Um, it's a, it's a tough drink, but it, I think it's really going to change, and we got great feedback from the FDA. Right now, we're just finishing up um, our Voice of the Patient report, which is basically the new textbook that the ALD patients are creating about our adult manifestations. It's over 100 pages, so we're still editing, but I, it will be available linked on our website, and FDA will have access to it, and they have, they have indicated that that will be a resource they look to going forward when they're evaluating therapeutics and drugs in our disease space. So I want to thank everyone for creating that together. One last time, I want to thank our sponsors. Again, we couldn't be here and in this roasting hot um, personal in-person room and to the cool and, and climate controlled um, for everyone else who's on Zoom. Um, I want to thank Bluebird, Swan, Minarex, Vigil, Neuro. Thank you so much for putting your faith in us and for sharing walking this walk with us. I wanted to give a quick angel donor update. Um, as of midnight last night, because I did get a late night call, um, we have yesterday we raised $33,370, with which the match turns into 66740, if my math is right, um, which is just amazing. Uh, that is, you know, that is 150% what we, what we raised all last meeting in 2021, is it 2022? I'm a little confused. Um, but thank you, and there's still time. Thank you to our angel donor and your generosity. You know who you are, and I'm grateful. And uh, there's still time to participate. And then finally, at long last, um, welcome, and let's, we're off to the races. So this is my favorite day of the conference. I'm so happy everyone could be here for as long as they can be here. Um, and we look forward to everything that's to come. Thank you.